Oh. Slap, slap, slap. Mm -mm. Today's episode is about depression and anxiety. Ah! Woo! Woo! What's up, everybody? We're at the park. We're at the park. We're at the park again, where all the people are gonna be, and they're all gonna walk through my video again. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Obviously, I'm gonna be practicing some flair today. <laughs> yep. Uh, admittedly, again, I haven't practiced flair really since we did last time. That's right. Um, I've done little like micro practices where I've just tossed the bottle, gotten a little more comfortable with it. It's been very much a non-practicing week because I started my new job. Yeah. So I've just been like either working or editing. Yeah, and the bruises have to heal. The bruises have to heal. Look, it's almost healed. There's still a little bit one right there. <laughs> this stupid thing. I'm ready to get some more. Let's do it. Yay. And today we're going to be talking about, um, we're going to, what is that jingly noise? Do you hear that? That's the ice cream guy. I hate it. I'm so easily distracted. <laughs> Dang it. I'm, I have a, a therapist appointment this week. I'm really? Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm Wednesday. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, okay. I mean, I'm totally fine with talking about my mental health. Um, <laughs> okay. I think mental health is important. I think therapy is important. That's good. And I, I have been trying to get a therapist with my new insurance, and it's been really difficult because mm. therapy is complicated. Yep. We've talked about it. We've ranted about it. That's um, right. With each other, not on camera. <laughs> yes. But before we get into all that, I'm, I want to... <laughs> Uh, today I'm focusing, I only have one of these. I don't want to do the cups. I don't want to do juggling. I want to practice these like balancey tricks. So I'm going to do the arm pop and I'm going to do the thing because those are my goals and I really want them. And then the planes. And then a plane. Yay. Yay, the plane. The planes. I'm going to work on that while we talk about, we'll talk about therapy and then yeah. Joe visits the volcano, which is yeah, actually really it good. It totally <laughs> relates. Today's episode is about depression and anxiety. Yay. And a guy named Joe. And a guy named Joe and a girl named Taylor. Oh, let's work on this one. Nope. Um, so yeah, I, I struggle a lot with anxiety and depression. Uh, I think people know that. Uh, I was really depressed a few years ago. It was really hard. I've worked really hard to get out of it with cogn cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, talk therapy, I've never had the greatest luck with, but I want to give it another shot. And so with my new insurance, I was like, I intentionally got an insurance that had good uh, mental health care. And yet, yeah. it turns out it's, it's really out. hard to find a therapist <laughs> that takes insurance, first of all, which is a whole thing that I could rant about forever. That's right. <laughs> it, it's like, basically, mental health is really important. People are starting to realize that there's a shortage of therapists. And so the ones that are out there are like, cool, not only do we not have to take insurance, mm -hmm. we also can charge a lot of money. That's right. So it's a very privileged thing to be able to get mental health care. That's right. Although it's a nationwide epidemic and we all know everyone needs it, but only people with money can have it, yep. thus excluding the people that truly need it the most. Uh, I feel like for me, like years ago, it was a really big step to, to even acknowledge that I, I should do therapy to acknowledge that or to recognize that you have something like depression or even just that you need to talk to somebody is really hard. And so it's like we don't like that's a big step. And then to like go actively try to find somebody to help you is really hard. And then to have them basically shut you down is even harder because it's like you're reaching out for help and they tell you that like, you know, if you need help, get help. Turns out, it's really hard to get help. Yeah, it's hard to get help, and then you do the math on getting help. And you're well, like, yeah, oh, it's hard to afford to get help. Once a week, $150 help. a session times four, six hundo. Oh yeah, I called some, <laughs> some psychiatrists, and they were $500 a session. And I was like, I cannot afford $500 a session. So I got insurance, and then my insurance was like, okay, here's a list of provide of uh, people who accept your insurance. I was like, great, I got like 30 names. I called all of them. I would say three answered and said they're not accepting new patients. And the rest, I left a message and I never heard back. And I was just like, wow, what a horrible. Yeah. Like that's, <laughs> when you're somebody who's like reaching out, feeling depressed, feeling anxious, like they need help. And then to have like the person who's supposed to help you 
yeah. shut you down by not even responding, that makes you feel terrible. Yeah. Like way to add to the problem that you're Pretty supposed brutal. to be fixing. And I get it, I'm sure it's very hard to be a therapist. Like I know that they have crazy hours. I know that they have a lot of like weight on their shoulders about it. Um, there, there are, there is a shortage of therapy or therapists. Oh. <laughs> it hurts. All right, let's try flipping it to the other hand. Nope. Nope. Oh. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> it's very hard. It's such a bet. Um. Right hand I can do pretty well. Left hand not so much. So, yeah, I got a therapist. Yay. Finally, somebody called me back. Uh, Yay! Someone decided to help. I'm really excited, <laughs> and I have a therapy appointment on Wednesday night, nice. right after work. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, take care of your brain. Even if you're like not struggling with depression, I feel like everyone should take therapy. Just because it's good to, you know, like we all go to the doctor for checkups and yet we don't have to do like a mental health checkup with anybody. Yeah, sometimes you gotta get it off your chest, whatever it is. Yeah. And so I'm really pumped. Oh. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that bone on plastic that I can It <laughs> sure is. <laughs> um. That looks cool, though. It does look cool. And then, nope. And so, uh, this leads us right into Joe versus the volcano. Yeah, on Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day. Uh, last time we talked about Valentine's Day and how I have my ritual. I watched Sleepless in Seattle. You've got mail. Must love dogs. Joe versus the volcano. Of movies that I watch. This year we added a new one and we are subtracting You've Got Mail from the next years. That's right. <laughs> You've Got Mail. Tough time. Joe versus the volcano. Wonderful metaphor for dealing with depression. Depression, anxiety, and not even like, like I do think it actually is a really good metaphor for dealing with depression, but it's also really, I think for me personally, I related to it a lot because I think it perfectly sums up what, or represents what depression feels like when you're in it. Maybe. Maybe. Like that is 100% what I was feeling like when I was super depressed. Yeah, Harry, but, but can he do the job? Yeah. Which is this like gray world where you just are like, what's the point? I feel bad. I don't know what I, what's wrong. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I don't feel good. What's the matter with you? I don't know. I don't know. Just horrible. See a flower gets uh, a little bitty yeah. daisy gets stomped. Daisy stomp, gets stomped. stomped. <laughs> Nothing good in your life. And then something changes. And for me, you know, it was a lot of like cognitive behavioral therapy, like teaching myself how to get out of these negative thoughts and make changes, like quit my job that I hate, uh, you know, stop surrounding myself with certain people that I don't like, which is exactly what happens in Joe versus the Volcano. That's right. He, he needs, like he has a catalyst of oh, you're gonna die, mm -hmm. that forces him into that, but... Brain cloud. Brain cloud. <laughs> you have a brain cloud. Brain cloud? But for me, you know, it was just like therapy um, helped me get out of it like that and make those choices. But it is funny how it also sums up, like not only was it really accurate with the, I'm gonna work on this one now. Uh, really accurate with how depression feels when you're in it, but then also what it feels like when you get out, where you're just like, oh, why did I waste all my time being like sad about things? I could be happy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ah! Oh. That one's really hurts. But I've seen him do this. Tom <laughs> Dyer is a genius. <laughs> Ow! What? Oh, that was close. <laughs> All right, let's go back to this one. <laughs> Just getting new bruises. <laughs> there is cool, interesting, artistic visuals going on in Joe versus Volcano that you wouldn't expect. Oh yeah. It's a very, 
uh, like instantly I was just like, oh, so many metaphors. And Dan was like, oh yeah, the whole movie's a metaphor. And it really is. It, there's metaphors upon metaphors upon metaphors in that movie. And I was just like, this is what a movie would be if I wrote a movie. Because <laughs> yeah. I love metaphors. Yeah, like the slanted floors at the, in, inside yeah. the office that make everything hard. Like, yeah, oh, <laughs> it's just so great. Yeah, and um, oh, this is a really cool trick. I like this one. And it's just, I mean, it was just a beautiful movie. And like, it really captures that feeling of like, uh, it's like the contrast between, ow, <laughs> the contrast between pure depression and like freedom. Um, and, and like, oh, the, the scene with the, the old, man who drives the car who was Your just driver, like yeah. I'm not paid to figure out who you are as a person I was like Woo. they just hired me to drive the car sir I'm not here to tell you who you are stops the car he's like if you don't know where you're going yeah <laughs> if you don't know who you are yeah if you don't know who you I'm are. not figuring that out for you and then it was just like oh it's really good it really is like all the steps that you it's do like, when you come out of depression that you need to do yeah it's like questioning he's like what kind of clothes do you wear it's like it's <laughs> don't know what you like like even when he should be depressed like when he's on the raft for the first time and he's just getting destroyed yeah. and he does that beautiful scene where he's like thank you or something yeah. and the sun comes up yeah the, and the, it's moon. Like, the moon is out the moon it's the no it is, it's the sun right the no. first time like when the sun messes him up, but he does the speech to the moon about how thankful he is. Does he? Yeah. I've only seen it once, so I'm going to trust you. She's seen it one you. time, so it's sort of half remembered. Yeah. All I just know is I was like, this is amazing. I love it so much. But it really, like, I feel like that's what I feel now. Like, since I've been able to get through, like, negative thinking and everything, I, I feel like it totally became, like, there's just days where I wake up where I'm like, so thankful. Thank you for my life. I forgot. Yeah. Like not to anybody or whatever, just that I'm not in that brain cloud. Brain cloud. Yeah. Nailed it. All right, let's yeah. try the pop. Let's do it. It's also got interesting things to say about relationships, finding what's right for you, people around you. Oh yeah, I really loved, I mean, even just of all the things, whether you want it to be a relationship or whatever, Meg Ryan's character represents this idea of like things or people who are not accepting you for who you are yeah. fully. And then at some point you find somebody that is, that is willing to like go into this unknown with you. Yeah. Or even if it's not a person, just like you find that thing that's like, it's okay that I don't know. Yeah. Nobody knows anything. We'll take this leap and we'll see. We'll jump and we'll see. That's life. It was really beautiful. <laughs> Woo! That was good. That didn't hurt. Nice. <laughs> Maybe I just can't feel anymore, but it's it didn't okay. hurt. Toughening up those veins. <laughs> yeah, right? Does that happen? Like, if you bruise a spot enough, I does it become, it does. like, numb? <laughs> I mean, it's got to get a little tougher, doesn't it? I mean, look at Jackie Chan. All right. Well, that one I already knew. That... But I have to be able to do it twice. That's the whole trick. <laughs> I'm only doing it once still. Ah, you're halfway there. Look at that. <sighs> it's, it's harder when you do it. It's so scary. Now it's starting to hurt. It's, it's, it's getting red. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. Power through. Yeah, tough. <laughs> just like depression. You just gotta make it through. But I really did like that, uh, the whole point about like, you gotta make the choice to not be there. And then the moment when he like, realizes that he's not dying and he like, starts getting the symptoms yeah. again, I was like, that's what it feels like. Yeah. Like that's what it feels like when you start going back down the spiral and then he comes back out like, no. I've been miserable so long, years of my life wasted for you. Yeah. Even though where they are is scary, they yeah. don't know what's gonna happen. That's what I love the most. Like They're the optimistic. moments when he was actually should have been like sad or you, when you would think he would be sad, like on the raft, when they're about to jump into the volcano, it's totally fine. Yeah. It's, it's the sad part is when he's doing the thing that he hated at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh oh, we have a friend. Hi, Pumi! Come here! <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Oh, he's stopping. <laughs> Come here! All right. We're Denied. Ooh, oh. I'm getting better. That's a good. Can we acknowledge how amazing that is? And the fact that it didn't hurt <laughs> badly? Well, it's a little bit of effort to get here. <sighs> I do think maybe like my muscles are just dying. Yeah. The nerves are just like, yeah, shut down, shut down. <laughs> ah. Having somebody mm. slap your arm it's, over. It's like now it's not hurting as deeply because I'm hitting it in the right spot, but it just feels like slap is. Like oh. Slap, slap, slap. Mm. Yes, look at the I'm sorry, little arm. Because, yeah, if you hit it perfectly flat, I think that's how you're supposed to hit it. Yeah. But then it's just like slap, slap, slap. That's what progress looks like. <laughs> Yeah, that part with the the moon is really beautiful. The part with the moon is incredible. Like I really love the You're I right. really love the motif of uh, of the crooked yeah road. Yeah, I love the crooked road. And uh, and it represents like how hard the journey is. Yeah. And in little ways where it, like it's a, it's the shape of a lightning strike that sinks their boat. Like, yeah, every everything. <sighs> what does the orange soda represent? I don't That's know. That's the only thing I was like. <laughs> Orange soda is weird. I found, like, I, I know it means something because ev I think everything in that movie is very yeah. intentional. Made the lane show it up. <laughs> but what does the orange soda mean? It's got to represent yeah. something about, like, every culture has their vices or something. I don't know. I, I think it's just to show that that entire tribe just worships soda. Like, yeah. it could just be that easy because that was in the time when Dr. Pepper and Coke and everybody, like, Right. You know, they were... <laughs> and, and it's not like anything really changed. <laughs> right. We just worship Red Bull now instead of orange soda or yeah. Coke or Dr. Pepper. <laughs> but, I mean, it's interesting. You can take whatever you want away from it. Yeah, I, w I would love to meet the writer. <laughs> he also made the, the play Doubt, which I really enjoyed. Oh, really? Uh, and the movie. The movie was not as good as the play, in my opinion. But you mean Moonstruck? I've never seen Moonstruck. I know. <laughs> I'm saving them all. No, I think, I don't know. I, I don't want to get too much into like my personal beliefs with like spirituality or whatever, but I do actually think, I think there's something beautiful about the fact that I saw Joe versus the volcano now. Because I think if I'd seen it years ago, it wouldn't have made and sense. you're a kid, it doesn't relate. And if I was a kid, I wouldn't have, I just thought, would have thought it's weird. Yeah. But now, I'm, it just it felt like my life. I was like, yeah, this is this is me. You, you don't know where his journey begins if you never had a real crappy job. Well, and I think a lot of people, like everyone I've talked to about it, they're like, oh yeah, I used to watch that as a kid and stuff. And like, I don't know if people realize how good of a movie it is. It's true. <laughs> At least I can do that. That's pretty cool. Oh. Okay, that was good. I did it. Yeah. Let's move on. Yay. Oh, it's just raiding up my arm. That was good. Well, I feel accomplished. Let's, I'm going to do it one more time. And then that'll be the end of the... Oh. <laughs> Come on, Taylor. One I more time. I believe in you. No. In your tough hide. Yay. That's pretty good. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, progress. Made it. Man. I mean, from the first time, it was really good. Oh. <laughs> if you like what I'm doing and you like my videos, go give me some stuff on the Patreons. Become yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Become a patron, an otter. Be an otter in my otter club. Look at this. Yeah. It hurts Look, really bad. She suffers for you. <laughs> for, for you. <laughs> if you haven't seen Joe vs. the Volcano, go see that. Absolutely. Very important. Uh, let's, uh, let's, make, let's make our secret code word for the day if you Ooh, made it uh, this long. Uh, uh, orange soda. Orange soda.
Orange soda is the secret code word. Leave that in the comments. I will give you a special heart. Thank you so much. Yeah, stay tuned until next time. Next week, we will be doing cardistry and pen spinning. Yeah. Give you an update on how good I've gotten at those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Super good. Super good. <laughs> Just like this. I'm so good. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yay. Okay, hang, bye. Hang in there, guys. Yeah. Brain cloud. Oh, wait. What? Also, huh? if you missed last time, send me some fan mail. Yeah. I have a fan mail address now, so it's in the description. Go send me some stuff. That's right. Just like a letter. Nothing creepy, nothing that's life-threatening. Mm -hmm. Fan art. Fan art, anything. Yeah. Okay, but not creepy stuff. Yay. Nothing creepy. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> express how much I don't want creepy stuff. <laughs>